Good morning. Good morning. Please stand. As for me, and just as I shall behold your face, I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. As we begin Mass for the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time, we will sing for the beauty of the earth. Your spirit. Good morning, sisters and brothers. Good morning. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind those times that we have sinned. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You raise us to new life in the spirit. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians 
the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does in honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption 
and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will be proclaiming the shorter form of this morning's gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. You know, this, with taking over um, Our Lady of Mount Carmel and Lake Silkworth this past week, Father Nash and myself and have several conversations, and every time he says that I should go over to Lake Silkworth, he always tells me to drop in. And I'm starting to believe that there might be a secret message in there. I think he wants me to drop into the lake. But that's, you know, that's something we'll have to work on. But I can't swim, so I won't be dropping into any lake because you know where they'll find me. We hear in today's gospel passage that Jesus has attracted a large crowd of people. And this should be nothing new to us, or this shouldn't be anything surprising to us, because we often hear that wherever Jesus had gone, that he attracted large crowds of people. And when you have that power to attract large crowds of people to yourself as you're teaching, it could be an extremely powerful moment. And Jesus could have used it to his advantage. Jesus could have used it in a way that he could have manipulated the people that were following him to be whatever he wanted them to be. But he did not. Why did he not do that? Because that wasn't his goal and what he was trying to achieve by gathering and teaching these people. 
Jesus was planting seeds within us. As we heard in the gospel passage, seeds were planted, right? And they produced multiple fold. And sometimes some seeds withered and died if they were in shallow soil. And sometimes they were planted in thorny areas and the thorns strangled them and weeded them out. But that's not the goal of Jesus. The goal of Jesus is to implant seeds into us that will blossom and grow into exactly what Jesus and his Father has wanted for us and had desired for us. So my friends, we are given the seeds, they grow, and then they allow us to make the proper choices in life which God wanted us to be able to do. So they weren't controlling us. God, His Son Jesus, had the opportunity to control us and to make us what they wanted, but they didn't. They gave us free will, they gave us grace, and we take that grace and we take that free will to hopefully make the right decisions that we're supposed to make in life. Now, I know that there are times in our lives that we do not make the right choice, and that's exactly what God intended us to do. But we must fight off the temptations of evil and work towards letting the seeds that have been implanted in us grow strong and tall, that we too can conform to the life that Christ has wanted for us. Because my friends, Jesus died on the cross, right? That's, that's a given. But he did it for us. He did it so we may rise on the last day and, and enjoy eternal life with him in the kingdom. And we allow these seeds to grow so we can work towards achieving that goal of everlasting life in the kingdom with God our Father. Let us stand now and profess our faith. I believe in one God, God the Father, Father the Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers that we are about to offer you. The response to our petitions will be, Lord, hear our prayer. That every believer be fertile soil for the growth of God's word, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That every land rejoice in plenty, foreshadowing the harvest to be shared in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer from physical and spiritual hunger be filled with healing goodness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That farmers and all who work the earth receive a just wage and abundant harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who gather here in community seek ways to reach out in love to those who are alone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that life in all forms be respected in every way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the pastoral planning process and all who are involved be a successful endeavor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of the emergency and medical personnel who are doing those jobs on the front line of society be protected from harm and that they, their resolve be strengthened. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the prayer requests received by our parish's ministry of prayer be heard and answered according to God's holy will. And we pause now to remember our own personal intentions in the silence of our hearts. For these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in Christ may rest in the peace of our Lord. Betty Jean Grabowski, Pearl Price, Catherine Starkey, Jean Lewis, Joan Marie Rasky, Gerald Shemansky, Lucille Sullivan, Bernadine Duda, and especially for this morning's Mass intention for Dr. William Cachetas. May they rest in the peace of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, grant these prayers and all the prayers that we hold through Christ our Lord. Amen. As the gifts are prepared at the altar, we will sing, unless a grain of wheat. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, 
a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, giving you thanks. He said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, 
especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Faustina, Pope Saint John the Twenty Third, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and today we remember in a special way Dr. William Kishadov, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. <clears throat> thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her young. By your altars, O God of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. During communion, we will sing, Seeds Scattered and Sown. For those at home, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, Jesus I, believe I believe that, that you are present in the, the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's so nice to see a few new faces out there this morning. And as I joked last night, for those of you returning that haven't been here in a week or two, you've noticed that the... Um, yellow crime scene tape is, is now gone. The crime scene investigators did a great job in concluding their investigations and they removed it all and we were able to transition over to white rope, which I think looks a lot better than looking out in a sea of, of yellow caution tape. So it's good to be here with you all. Father Nash is, like I said earlier, over at, uh, his, at Our Lady Mount Carmel Lake so forth this weekend and uh, we'll be back with you next weekend. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.
Thanks be to God. As we go forth to carry on the missions of the fruit of this Mass, we will sing fruits, the fruit for the fruits of this creation. this morning. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for daily Mass. In the meantime, take care, stay safe, and God bless. Thank you for joining us.